G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to U-Boat with Mags. So we have just finished handing over the paperwork for our second patrol and we're about to get the sub prepped and ready for our third. However, first things first, we've got a little bit of crew management to do. After all, this is a submarine management simulator, not a full-on subsim. So, first things first, we've done two patrols and the last one was pretty stressful. We had a few people break, so we're going to send the crew on a break. Now this, we have to pay for this. We get a couple of options on exactly where we go. So discipline penalties will be reset. French campsite, Bavarian village. Crew's energy is depleted 50% slower for 10 days. Having time to thank your crew gains 25% uh, extra experience from the last patrol. That's generally my go-to for these kind of things. It's relatively cheap. And the 25% bonus is nice. And we got French uh, chateau. Uh, German Alps Resort and the Eagle's Nest. But we're going to go to a Bavarian village for 14 days. Uh, Bad Wessi, you recently found out your U-boat was adopted by a small Bavarian village. The local people are waiting impatiently to host their heroes. The mariners can rest on skis, enjoy luxury of all amenities, satisfying all the most sophisticated needs. After months of patrols and duty, they can regain fighting spirit and regenerate morale in the surroundings of well-known landscapes. Okay. So, 14 days off duty. Not a whole lot for us to do in that time, so we just let it skip through. Okay, and here we are. Contact unknown groups. All right, fair enough. It means we've got some submarines in port with us. Now, time to get the boat ready for the next patrol. Ah, uh, so... See how they are. All right, so I want crew management. Choose crew for the next assignment. Because we had a couple of people that broke on the last patrol, and I would rather not use them. All right, so Olin had a panic attack. Conrad Otto also did. These guys proved to be cool under pressure, so they're fine. You had a heart attack, so you're out. And Stefan is out. So, that brings us to 11 of 18. We've got our five officers. Um, well, we got uh, medals at the end of it. Uh, Captain uh, uh, Gunther Magsner got his, uh, got his first medal. All right, so... We're going to need some more crew. So we exit out here, show me files. Now these tend not to have too much variance in them, sadly. So a German-Austrian descendant, a weapons lover and hunter, service in the army, uh, army is his dream ambition. Um, he counts on rapid promotion in the military hierarchy. Uh, a playboy and reveler, he joined the army because it was easier to pick up girls in uniform. Uh, he's too big for his boots. A German of Austrian descent, a weapons lover and hunter, and you can see they start repeating. This is actually one of the biggest problems with U-Boat uh, in general. The ideas are good, there needs to be more variance in these. Or I assume people will mod them in, but um, they really don't want this to become a uh, uh, Bethesda situation where you're relying on monitors, um, uh, modders to fix problems like this. So, we'll go with Gunther, that's a good name. Poor family, father sent him to the army to learn discipline, he hates service in the army, well he can hate, so he's not going to hate service on my boat because he's not going to be there. We got another Gunther. These do give some indication, they're not just flavour text, they do give some inf indication to what their personalities may be like. Born natural soldier, cleans his shoes every day, yeah we'll go for Wolfgang. Pharmacist's son in the army for money wants to help his father in business. Potentially a candidate to pick up training in medical. Plans to rebuild his life in the creeks, Maria. Okay, yeah, somebody who's dedicated. How many does that have us have? Uh, have us at, rather. 
15. Still need three more. We got some really shit, shit recruits here. I'm not getting anything that's really... Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, we'll go for you too. Alright, so that should have us up on crew. Alright, 18 of 18 on the boat. We've got four that we've taken out, which we've still technically got access to, but we're not going to be using for the moment because they'll break again. If they're broken now, they'll break again. Officers are set. Okay, so that's that part done. We still haven't picked up a mission yet, and we won't be because we have to start loading up the boat. So, we can't do upgrades yet. I will show you why in just a moment. We need to start getting everything sorted out for our boat. Now, um, we've got 45,000 renown, so we're doing all right here. Five medical um, ammunition. I'll transfer to deck gun and then transfer back and then we should be able to move all of that over so 40 37 on the deck gun we can move a little bit more we've got the credits to actually do it so that has the deck gun maxed out and we're going to load ammunition a p h e AP and HE. Alright, so now we've got the flak guns are also maxed out on ammunition. We're not carrying any in storage for the deck guns. We're going to leave it all in the guns proper. Get rid of the scrap, because we don't need it. But we do need spare parts. So 10 spare parts, 5 medical kits. If I've got any, if I need any more than that, then my boat is wrecked. Um, food. Food is always an issue, because we're going to have to get some, and then we're going to have to get more later, because... Uh, this will not be enough to supply the boat. Take some cheese as well. And we'll move some canned bread over. Alright, so that's got all the food. Ammunition's already loaded directly into the guns. Fuel, we're going to fuel up the sub completely. Or the U-boat completely, so we're already 5,000 renown now, and that's actually taken out nearly half the fuel available in the port at the moment. And torpedoes, this one is going to be an issue. So, transfer. Uh, people are asking in the comments of the last video, uh, the T1s are G7As, the T2s are G7Es. So that's the uh, torpedoes themselves. Now when you're loading them up, you always load them up that one there's already loaded through, so we want that one next. You always stagger loaded them like this, so one, two, uh, two ones, two twos, if you want to mix, or whatever, whatever combination you want loaded into the torpedo tubes, because once you actually start the transfer for this, um, the top row is what's going to be loaded into the tubes, going one, going one, two, three, four. So, T1s, T1s, and I like to keep a mix, two T1s, two T2s in the tubes, so I have options available. So, G7As, G7Es, nice even mix of both. I don't have to worry about the sterns, because there's already one in the tube and I one in storage. I never fired them off, of the torpedoes that I had left over, so that's good. Items. Now, just a little bit of reorganizing, reorganizing here. We want some more tea or coffee on board. Do that. No, I don't want six. Transfer two. That leaves me one space. Yeah, I'll go with that. So I've got two sets of breathing, uh, two breathing apparatus for if we have a uh, chlorine leak on the uh, or chlorine uh, issue on the boat or anything else. Uh, two sets of coffee on board because you sure we should. Uh, diving suit, we haven't actually had to use that yet, but I'm hoping we'll actually get to use it soon enough, so you'll get to see that in action. And start loading some weapons and some combat gear on board, because, again, we don't know exactly 
what this is uh, what these missions are going to entail. All right, so torpedoes, fuel, ammunition is set, and food supplies are on good. We're going to be doing a second load because what's going to happen is once we've completed this first load on board the boat, these are going to be loaded into the tubes, and these are all slots are all going to be empty. So then we have to stick four more in. Um, so we've probably got about another week at port at this point, six days, and then it's probably going to take another three to four before we um, before we can actually get ready to leave or select our mission and get ready to leave anyway. Okay, boom. So that's that one done. Now we can quickly zoom and scoop down the front of the boat. Just thinking about it, I probably should have done this resupply before I send everyone off on the holidays as well. So T1, T1, T2, T2 as loaded up into the tubes. Although it has loaded them a little bit odd here, but yeah, it works. So now, back into the warehouse. And back down to the torpedoes just for a start. So we transfer two more T2s over, or G7Es over, and then two more G7As. And now food. What else have we got? There's still a little bit more cheese, so we'll transfer that over. Always take more spuds, because that is always good to do. Um, damn it, I was sort of hoping we'd have fruit and veg. That's really all we've got. Although we can move the canned beef over. Just want to make sure we're good on supplies. We actually ran out of food on the last one, or the last of it's in the pots on board, actually. That is a thing. If I go down to the galley, what did we have in the... Almost nothing that's comparable. Now move the canned bread over. Was brauchst du, Herr Kalon? Schau mal. So we transfer the vegetables in. Alright, that'll do. And then I'll transfer the vegetables into the pot and that'll clear up food space. Alright, so I want to upgrade my ship. Why am we not upgrading the ship with the amount of renown we actually have? Well, if we go over here, and I haven't showed this before, headquarters is where you run your research assignments to get access to new technologies for your U-boat. Start a new operation. Now, the way this works is hidden around the map, we have a whole bunch of options that you can potentially take. So, for example... You can do aerial reconnaissance. You can send one of your officers over, generally somebody who has the leader skill, to do aerial reconnaissance in a particular part. There's some military stashes that you can try and raid out. Again, they require leaders. Now, the technology research, this requires engineers, and there's a couple of these that you can actually do. The ones with the little exclamation points on them are technologies that wouldn't be developed by the Kriegsmarine until a later point. So in the case of this one here, this is the, uh, the METOX radar detector. Uh, it's only in early stages of development. Attempts to complete it before the 8th and the 5th, 1941, will take twice as much time. Well, it's twice more time, but it's translation error. It's twice as much time, which isn't long. It's still only 12 days. So the research time is actually not that bad. But you've got to send a radio man, which means you need a crew, mem a crew member that you can afford to deploy that has that skill we don't have anybody free who has that skill. Sucks, but that's the way it is. Um, same over here. Snorkels, 24 days to get through that one. Needs an engineer. So, this is where part of the management section comes in. As you're playing through the game, your crew is going to earn experience, and they're going to pick up new qualifications. A few graphical issues just there, actually. And that tends to happen whenever you go into headquarters for some reason. I'm just not entirely sure what triggers it, but it goes away pretty much straight away. And I say that, it does it again. That's that's really odd. 
Hmm. Might have put a bug report about that in. I haven't seen it come back like that before. That's all isolated in just that area. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Bug report it is. Anyways. The, um, the crew will get experience. They will learn new traits. They will learn new abilities. We'll start the soft duty uh, transfer for getting the uh, stuff on board. As they do, you will then be able to either keep them on the boat and use them to improve the operation of your boat. Otherwise, you can send them off to complete those research projects and get access to those technologies. Now, once you've researched them, you don't have access to them straight away. You still have to pay to buy the components. So, as soon as I get an engineer, I'll be going for a snorkel, but I don't have a snorkel yet, and that's why I haven't bothered trying to fit one to the boat. Actually, I just realised what the problem was. The ribbing for the boat wasn't disappearing. The equipment on this side wasn't fading out properly. Ooh, they, yeah, that is a bug report that I'm going to have to send in. Anyways, that is it. We finally have a boat that is prepped. I think. Maybe. Better double check this. People sitting there going, Merg, you're supposed to be sinking something by now. I've got to do the management side. I normally edit all this out, but I thought it would be interesting this time to keep it all in. Um, we've actually got a spot for more food, but I'm not going to worry about that. I think we've got enough for this patrol, although we haven't actually selected what this patrol is going to be. So, the last thing we do, are there any orders for the Admiralty? There are current orders in the Empire's your eyes only. Okay, fair enough. What have we got? Patrol Sector DH. North Atlantic D... Oh, that's... No, I don't want to do that. That's off April. That's off Africa. This early in the war, there'll be nothing down there. Espionage. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What is this? Radio men are specialist communication usage. They may also obtain medical training. Your goal will be to transport a spy unharmed coordinates 52 and 3W near Cardiff Docks. You may get additional orders at this point to help the spy with carrying out his mission. Increased activity of enemy aircraft was recently noted in this area. Oh, I want the radio operator because I can send him off to do the research for the... Um, it's one of the rewards. You get a new radio operator. So I can send him off to research the radar detector which would be fantastic but that is a real horrible place to be going this time of the war but on the other hand I get an engineer which means I can use that engineer to get the snorkel I have to carry a war correspondent on board who wants to do an article fair enough it's 10,000, 5,000, so there's uh, there's 25,000 renowned here on the line plus an engineer that I can pick up. And completing that, it wants 4,000 tons to be able to get that engineer. There'll be nothing down there. It's just a shitful, boring end of the world. And the alternative one is join La Spezia. Port Flotilla. Which is uh, essentially a transfer to the Mediterranean theatre. Which I have never done before. I, it, I wouldn't mind doing it at some point in this campaign. But I'm not going to be doing that now. Not now, because the Mediterranean is going to be pretty boring at this point as well. Well, it's not going to be terrible, but yeah. I might do that later. I'm going to have to. I, I need the engineer. This this could be a really average patrol, but I need that engineer. All right, two thousand kilometers inside the mark area and four thousand tons. Goodbye. Let's plot our course. Well, war respondent collect material for his publication. Well. I suppose he's on the right tour for it. There shouldn't be a huge amount of action down that end of the world, so if he was going to come on any boat... Uh, that should give me enough clearance, and then straight south. Once again, we will be patrolling off the mouth to the Mediterranean. 
Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe somebody will do something in there. We'll see. Looks like another U-boat is already departing. So that is U-1301. And of course the alarm goes off. Alright. So at this point, let's kick this into gear. Forward one to clear docks. Forward two. And we are underway. So yes, the entirety of this video was the crew management and preparation to the lead out for our third patrol. And as I said, I normally edit this out. However, this time I wanted to make sure that I actually put it in, because this is a major portion for the game and the idea and concept behind this game. As you progress through the timeline, your ship's going to get access to new technologies and your crew's going to get access to new skills. Well, those new skills will translate into the research for those new technologies. But at the same time, we all know how this war goes. Things are going to get harder as things progress through. Access to certain resources, even stuff like food, is going to become harder to get. Fuel will become difficult to get in some ports, so you may have to go to another port in order to be able to actually fuel up. Torpedo supplies will cut down. Everything gets more difficult the further on you go, and the more complex the crew management gets if you want your submarine to survive to the end of the war. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. U-Boat will be returning to the channel very soon. I'm going to be speeding up the releases on these. Until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.